good morning. All right, let's try this again. For some reason, I'm not getting comments. So I hope this fixes it. Let me get my computer. getting any comments so I don't know what's going on so I'm gonna try okay oh I'm starting to get some things okay if you're here just say hello let me see if I can grab your comments see if I can see them if not I'm gonna try from my from my laptop here oh wait I think I'm getting some oh good morning okay great my first one, I started it just a few minutes ago and it was, um, it was weird on my end. I don't know what was going on. Okay, so I'm running a little behind, which is normal. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, Adriana. Morning fuel. My husband brought me home a nice coffee. Good morning, Ruth. Good morning, Tina. Barbara's watching. Donna, good morning. All right, let me get some music on in the background. It's really quiet here. Hey, Alexa. Play Caleb. I listened to music all day long and I didn't have it on this morning. Happy birthday. You don't look you don't look a day older. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. Yeah, yesterday was my birthday. So we kinda I kinda was really busy. Um, we've been doing we've been doing so much around here. Um, so when my husband's home I am, we are doing things around the house, but yesterday I've been busy. I've been really busy with orders in my shop. So working on those. Good morning. So I've been um, really, really busy in my shop. How's everybody's um, sales going? So, um, how's everybody's sales going? You know, I thought because, you know, summer's here, sales tend to um, drop off a lot in the summertime. Um, they, you know, I, they just drop off more than, you know, holiday sales are. That, that's the best time for everybody. But summertime gets a little, you know, it's a hit or miss kind of thing in the summertime. Um, sales tend to go down a little bit. Um, but I'm telling you... Um, this year, I don't know if it was the quarantine, people getting back to, um, you know, back to work and things now. Um, quarantine was really good with sales because a lot of people were home, a lot of people were shopping online, a lot of people were looking. So that was a good thing. And then, um, you know, it tended, it, it dropped off for maybe like a week or two and then it seems to be hitting, you know, back up again. You've only sold one apron. I am on my maybe like sixth one now. I want to say six or seven. So the, the aprons, I have about six. I think I'm on my sixth one now. Um, I got one going out today. Matter of fact, it's right here waiting to go to the press. Um, so I do got that one. That one's going out. So my aprons have done really well. My mugs have done really well. Um, what else have I done? Jeez. I think that's it. But I'm going to tell you, if you have not started making garden flags, 
they are like it is the season for them I am so busy with garden flags right now and when I say busy I am busy busy I'm selling and I'm not even joking to you guys I'm selling 50 to 75 a day I'm printing so if you haven't started making garden flags garden flags are the way to go start offering those Because it is garden flag season people are doing their landscaping they are um, pools are open things like that so that's where I'm at with that okay so what we're gonna do today is this one's gonna be a really um, quick video it's not gonna be a long one um, but I did these at Christmas and these were big sellers for me so I am bringing them back for Father's Day these are the stainless steel 14 ounce travel mugs. These are great because you could take them in. A lot of guys will take them in like my son-in-law, he does. He um, will stop at a sheets and he will refill these. He will put the, um, fill these with coffee. Um, I gave these out at Christmas time to like the guys in our office. They love them and they're stainless steel. I have 35 of them right now in my shop in my Etsy shop under the supplies I have them on hand so these will get um, if you're looking for them these will get shipped out um, and then they will you know you'll be able to have them for Father's Day if you're looking for them for like a dad um, you know grandpa anything like that but these are nice these are um, I have one my husband uses one and it has the lid to it okay and it is stainless steel so it does keep your drinks hot and cold it's not like vacuum sealed or anything like that, like some of the other ones are, or I don't know if this is a double wall or not. I think it is. Um, but this is what we're gonna do today. These were great for Christmas time. I did the Hallmark design on them. Um, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I have not pressed this with this design that I did, that I'm gonna do. Is the bottom still? No, it's a plastic, but um, it does not sweat. So this is nice if you're traveling with it in the car. I have my business info. Yeah, I love these. They would, they be, they're great promotional items. So if you're looking for something to promote your business with, if you go and you want to do a giveaway, um, you could always do a logo or something on it. Um, always have yours with, you know, your, with your logo or your business on it. I, I love them too. These are great for, you know, hot or cold. Okay, so but this is plastic here. This is plastic. The handle's plastic, but the mug itself is stainless steel. And it is sublimation. Yes, it's completely sublimatable. So um, you could do a little design as well down here. And then you can do this. These do not go into a convection oven, though. These are specifically made for a mug press just because of the plastic. Okay, so you can't put these into the mug uh, into a convection oven or do them that way um, You need to put these in a mug press. All right, and that's what I'm going to use today Okay, because this is plastic. This is plastic. This is plastic All right So we're going to go ahead and start um, Like I said, this is going to be quick and easy. I've not pressed this design yet um, So we're going to see how this goes but here we go with it. Okay, um, my design I measured is I'm going to do three and a half by eight and a half. All right, and I'm going to do it in my mug press. Um, someone had asked what kind of mug press, what kind of presses do I have? I get my presses from Heat Press Nation. Um, I love their customer service is awesome, um, and their pricing is you know their their presses and their pricing is just as great. Um, I just I highly recommend them I just will say that I did a lot of people have told this story before I've had I got a 16 by 24 press and I probably only had it maybe like two weeks uh, it was under a month and um, it just I went down one day to use it and my temperature kept dropping and dropping and dropping I went to go use it and shut it and and then it just wouldn't heat up and here the heating element went in it but I called them immediately because I had a lot of orders I had to fill and when I called them, um, you know, I talk, got to talk to somebody immediately. I didn't have to be put on hold. I didn't have to call back. 
Um, I talked to someone immediately, and a uh, nice gentleman, and he said, and I told him, you know, hey, I just bought this. And he's like, well, that's under warranty. Don't worry about it. He said, let me send you a new one out. And I said, I have a lot of orders. I have to get this. He said, I'm going to overnight this to you. And I said, okay, well, what do you want me to do with the other one? He said, I'm, when, I, when you get the new one, just put that old one in a box and send it back to me. And I said, okay. And I'm telling you, I called them around like 4 o'clock that afternoon. And by 10 the next morning, I had one overnight and it was on my porch for delivery. <coughs> so when I say their customer service is beyond outstanding, I really mean that. Uh, what was the link for these mugs? It's in my Etsy shop, and in the announcements, I have a post to my Etsy shop. You can go right there and grab them. Um, you can just grab that link there, and it'll take you in. It's under Sublimation Supplies. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Um, I have a few of the license plates designs. If you go into my Etsy shop, I have some uh, license plate designs. So, what I wanted to do was, I'm going to try a license plate design on this. I figured it's the perfect landscaping design that I'm going to try. So, all I did was I took this and I just sized it down. Okay, so, oh, my husband's phone's ringing. So, this is a license plate design that I have. And I did make a new license plate design from this flag. This is my flag design that I have. Now, I left this part blank on this. Um, on the design, I was going to put something over here, and then I thought, I'm not going to. I'm going to let you guys decide if you want to personalize this. Um, so I made this into my flag design. I took it and I made it into a license plate design. I am going to list it when I'm done here. I haven't listed it yet. Okay? So just so you know, this is going to be in the license plate design. All right? So I'm going to press this. I didn't put anything on it. Um, you know, you could do whatever you want. I did make one, and um, I gave it away. I gave it to my daughter. And it said, Home of the Free Because of the Brave. I did actually put that over there. But you can go ahead and add any text that you want over there. For that way you can personalize this okay so with these mugs all I do is it's fairly simple oh and let me tell you when you cut out your designs like I said this is eight and a half by three and a half I did this design will you restock the mugs I probably will it's probably something I'm gonna carry because I do sell I love these and these sell very well they, they were a really good seller for me at Christmas and when I say really good I probably sold, I think, over 200 of these because I had ordered a case and I think I've sold over 200 of these for Christmas. So these are something I am going to keep in stock. They, I've had a bunch sitting down. I've had, and I just never, um, I never listed them. I don't know why. I've been going through a lot of inventory and finally getting it into my shop. Um, another thing that I'm going to do recommend that you get is I've had this forever I used to scrapbook but get yourself a good it doesn't have to be you know the most expensive get yourself a good uh, paper cutter a paper cutter I use my paper cutter so much with sublimation um, just because when I'm doing something I like straight lines so I use my paper cutter to make sure that I get straight lines because it, when I'm doing something, it helps me to line up better than if I'm doing scissors. And So I paper cut almost all of my designs so that they're nice. Okay, so if that's a little tip I could give you guys, um, paper cut your items with a paper cutter because let me tell you, you'll be so happy that, you, that you're using straight lines because like right here, when I'm using a straight line, I'm able to literally get a good straight line and right across the top, and then I know my image is straight. Yeah, you, Maria, I, I mean, it just helps to line up. I don't care if it's pillow covers, um, mugs, perfect, because now it's just perfect against the top, and I know, it's, I know it's straight. So paper cutters are one of those must-have tools with sublimation. Okay. And all I'm going to do is 
I am just going to tape it on here. All right. And I made sure I went a little bit above this curve because once you get beyond the curve, it gets weird and it doesn't sublimate well. Like it starts to fade in spots. So keep it above the curve. Okay. And when you're doing this, a trip, uh, a tip that I have, a trick, is I take this tape and I fold a little tab over, okay, on the top. I just give it a little tab there so that I have something to grab onto when I pull my paper off. So as you can see, see how that sticks up because there's a little tab. So when I'm pulling my paper off my mugs, it helps. Now, I usually Everybody asks me, do I put butcher paper in my mug press? No, I never adjusted my mug press either. Because mm -hmm. these are still set, I bet you. It's probably still set for the dad mugs. Um, am I using Scott's tape? No, I'm using heat tape. Okay, um, you need to use heat tape when you do... Uh, sublimation so make sure you get yourself a good heat tape um, a lot of people have said that um, you know they purchase some off of Amazon and stuff like that I don't purchase my sublimation supplies on Amazon just because I don't know um, I want to make sure that I'm getting from a reputable company not saying that there's not some on Amazon but um, I just use sublimation companies and I get my tapes from either Condi or from the Coastal Business. And if you go to Coastal Business and you purchase from them, in um, my pinned post, my announcements, there is a coupon to use that if you use that code, um, you get a discount with them, okay? So I am wrapping a little bit of butcher paper around it. Um, I used to never do that and I've never had any problems with transfer in here but lately I've been doing it so I gotta readjust these and this heat press like I said is from heat press nation it's actually the four in one so it comes with the 15 ounce uh, attachment which is in there right now and then it has an 11 ounce attachment, um, a latte, and a shot glass. And I just, and it's totally adjustable. As you can see, I'm just moving the bars back here. And then, um, so you can adjust, there's little knobs here, little dowels that you just adjust to the pressure that you need. Um, my heat tape, let me show you my heat tape. This is my heat tape. Okay, and these are the ones that I use. So it's clear, but I don't think um, it matters as long as it would say like for mugs or things like that. Sometimes that makes the difference because there is a heat tape out there. I've never bought it, but um, it's like a foil tape. <clears throat> After you do a sublimation cup, do you need to put a sealer on it? No. When you, um, sublimation is literally um, inks that turn into gases and literally become part of your surface so it's not like a vinyl it doesn't sit on top of the surface sublimation literally becomes part of the item so that's the nice thing about sublimation it is not just sitting on top of the item it is now part of your item so you don't need no sealers or anything on sublimation Okay, so I'm doing the mugs at 385 for 190 seconds, okay, for those of you that have asked. Um, so anyways, yeah, so this is the 4-in-1 from the Heat Press Nation, and I, I love it. I use it a lot. And someone had asked me, does it... Wait for your heat to get up and then start counting down. It doesn't. The moment I start to close this, when I close this, 
my counter starts closing down. But let me give you a little trick that I use because I, my mugs are stored in, um, in my basement. That's where all of my supplies are. There's downstairs I have uh, shelving units with just all of my supplies. And um, so it's cooler down there. So when I bring things up, and if I know that I'm going to do them, sometimes I'll bring them up the night before and I'll leave them sit and get to room temperature. But what I found is, um, you know, that's not always that's not always the way that it can be. Sometimes someone will message me and say, hey, I need a mug. Can you get this out to me? So what I do is I'll bring that mug up, and it's at a cooler temperature, and I don't really want to put it in here because I don't want it to have cracks and stuff like that. So what I do is I will take it to my sink, and I'll put warm water in the mugs, and I'll warm them up. And I'll do that several times because I don't want to put hot water in it. It's a little bit cold. So what I'll do is I'll warm it up for a minute with some warm water. I'll dump it out. I'll put more warm water in it. I'll dump it out. And then I kind of get it to where it's, it's warmed. And um, so then when I put it into my heat press, it is, um, it's not, it's not super cold. So it starts out already a little bit warm. How do you know which one you have? Um, I have the four in one. I could post which one it is. Let's see. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. And look how beautiful these sublimate. I mean, they're just, these are gorgeous. And how pretty would that be if you took some stars down here or you wrote a name like dad, um, you know, anything that you want to say, you could go ahead and tape it down here. These mugs have lids. Yes. I mean, look at, look at how stunning they turn out. I absolutely, absolutely love these travel mugs. This one's going to my husband. What size is this? This is a 14 ounce. How would I sub a design on the bottom? I probably, honestly, <laughs> I would take this and I would use my little Cricut press. And if you have not had one of these, let me show you it. I got this little baby and I'm telling you I would probably take and use this all around the bottom because you can with this but if you're not that daring which I would be but um, you could do this and then you can go ahead and put you know something right here you could take and put a you know a name here, a saying there. But look how beautiful. And this one, um, you can't use the flag design on this. The one that I had done, I tried to do that, but then um, because this is more landscape mode and the flag is portrait mode, it didn't work. So I'm putting this design. Um, this is going to be in the license plate designs. I am, I'm putting this in my shop. So I changed this, I altered it, um, and I just redid the whole design, and I made it into a license plate design. Okay, so all of my license plate, um, all of my license plate designs fit this nicely. Matter of fact, let's do the one that I have um, already in my shop. Will the heat affect the plastic on the bottom when pressing? I'll tell you what I probably would do. Um, because this part, Maria, you know this only part that goes into it. Um, I probably would cover this right here and then go ahead and heat that. <laughs> I would use my hat press. Exactly. Um, love that little cricket. I know. I actually love this. The CZ press. I use this a lot when I get stuck in corners or have a small spot. Um, this is great because it goes up to 400, 
So I bought it one time to help with my baby blankets because sometimes I was having a little problem in the corners. And I found that I use this um, to get into some smaller items, to small spots that I need. So let me get you one more. I am going to do one more design. <clears throat> All right. So... Um, so anyways, if you do use your flag design will not work on this just so that you know um, I'm going to list the license plate one as soon as we're done here and that that one works good Because you need something in landscape mode the portrait mode gets distorted and it doesn't work Okay So let me show you it when it's done there you go this one's going to my husband Okay And I have a few more designs coming for that. Um, I'm going to work on them over the weekend, just so that you know that. Um, and all of these mugs, I will get them shipped out. Um, I got a whole bunch of flags that I got to get done today. Um, so these will definitely go in Monday's mail, um, just because I'm not going to be able to get to the post office today, which I usually would make a run. I usually make daily runs, but I'm going to get everything out Monday. So it, it, it'll get to you by Father's Day. Okay, so we're going to start again. Here we go. Take off the lid. And I, sorry, I'm going to use the Let Freedom Ring design. Okay, and that's from my license plates design that's into my shop. And again, I cut it with my, uh, I got a straight cut with my paper cutter. Dad's always like travel mugs. I don't care if they're just drinking. My husband's a big iced tea fan. And he would, um, he will even pour tea in this in the morning and leave. Okay, get my little tab. Cut a piece of paper down. So this heat press here, I will go ahead and put a link to it, but it is, um, it's the four in one and I know they have pre-orders right now on a lot of their, um, presses. So, um, but I've had a few people contact me and say, oh, they're, you know, pre-ordering, but they got them within like two weeks. So where did you get the mugs? They are in my shop. And this is an item that I am going to um, stock to keep in my shop, just so that you know that. So 385 for 190 seconds. All right. I'll try not to miss any. Um. Okay. How would I get the pressure down there? I would probably just heat it up really well with the... Um, just with the little cricket. <clears throat> okay. I have 30 some left of these, I think. 50 some in my shop. So if you're looking at grabbing them and getting them out, um, you need to head over there because I don't, I think I only had, geez, I just listed these. It was under 50 of them in my shop. I only had of these. So if you're looking at getting one or two or whatever of these, um, you might need to go over and grab them. There is a link in the announcements. Is that the 15 ounce L? Yes, I'm using the 15 ounce in this. And let me tell you, um, I keep this 15 ounce in and I also use it for my 11. Um, I just tighten it up because there's, there's knobs back here that you use to tighten. Um, so I've not ever used my 11 ounce even though I have 11 ounce mugs, um, I just tighten this down in the back here and I just always use my 15 ounce. Okay, um, what type of tape am I using? It is heat tape. You must use heat tape. When you're doing sublimation, you cannot use scotch tape, you can't use masking tape, you can't use any of that. You need to use 
um, heat tape and I get it from Coastal or Condi and I have if you go to the announcements um, here on the group page there is a 5% discount if you need if you want to use that there is a code that you can use it's up uh, in the announcements do you think you can do both top and bottom with the shrink rack you cannot put these in the convection oven this is plastic so these are strictly mug press okay there are certain things that you have to do with the mug press this is one of them just because of the plastic with two of them can you do a tapered mug um, with this one right here because it does have the two knobs this four-in-one has um, a latte um, a, attachment to it four tapered mugs so there's no need to, you know, do that, but I'm sure that you might be able to play a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I do mean a little bit uh, with the tapering on this. But you could probably use a mug press if you needed to do a tapered mug. And that right here, this is my license plate design. Okay. And look at that. Let freedom ring. Okay, so look how gorgeous these turn out. I mean, they're, they're beautiful. Nice and shiny. they got a nice sheen to them. Just beautiful. And they don't take long to cool off because they're stainless steel. Yeah, see, it's already, already, already can handle it. Look at that. Beautiful. And you can always put dad's name up there, anything like that. And like I said, this was my, these are my license plate designs. That's it. So that's today's live. Super easy. And you know, if you wanted to, you could always, um, instead of doing a design, if you wanted to just go ahead and put some pictures on here for dad, I just did one for a friend and um, her son at the last minute wanted to get dad a mug uh, with his picture on it. And the little saying that he always says to dad, um, something, it was like, I love you so much, daddy. Um, so she, you know, she had messaged me and said, hey, do you, I need a mug and I need it tonight. Uh, my son just said he's getting dad a mug for his birthday. And she said, that's not what I got him. So I just, um, he wanted to, he had a picture. She had a picture of um, dad and, and the little boy. And then we just did a saying on the side. And uh, it was so cute because it just had his picture and dad always has it with him. So there, today's designs, look at that. Okay, so super easy, super quick. Um, you know, if you're looking for them, grab them. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Sandy. Um, so if you're looking to, you know, grab a mug or two, they're in my Etsy shop, and uh, I'll put a link to that as well, and they will ship out Monday morning, okay, so that you should have them before Father's Day. So we got one week, one week until Father's Day. So that's it. The heat press is from Heat Press Nation. It's my four-in-one. Love this heat press. I absolutely love this heat press. I use it so much. I have a convection oven, but um, I use this a lot. A lot. What is the website? Anyone have the link? For Rebecca, for what? For my Etsy shop? If you go to the above in the announcements, there's a, um, a link there. I'm going to post it, though. As soon as we're done here, I'll go ahead and post it on, on this video. Will I be getting any more of the beer mugs? Probably not right now. Um, I don't think that they'll be in in enough time. I have deliveries all the time, but um, I just don't think that those will be here in enough time for Father's Day. Um, but they will be something I'll probably be carrying as well. Yeah, those turned out really nice. 
All right, everybody, if anybody has any questions, you can um, just message me here or you can message me in my Etsy shop. Um, I try to respond to either one. Sometimes it gets a little weird because messages will go to my other folder here. And from my phone, for some reason, I don't ever, I can't never get to that other messenger, only from my laptop, which is strange. So, all right, I am going to head out of here. Um, I got a busy day. I've got a lot of orders to fill. Um, so, if you have any questions, you can always message me. If not, happy Friday and enjoy your weekend and be blessed.